years old and I am giving supraclavicular brachial vessel block. This is my own technique and you know I have marked the clavicle here. I have marked the sternocleidomastoid. This is the clavicular head. This is the sternal head and this is the clavicular head. And you can notice the pulsating external vein here. This transverse cross here. This indicates the inferior belly of omohyte. And by the side of sternocleidomastoid, this is scalenus anticus. And this is, this is the position of scalenus median muscle. The aim is to insert the needle in interscalene cleft by the side of the pulsating jugular vein. Now important thing is that you move the finger from external pleomastoid, the fingertip will dip and will be over the scalenus anticus. Then you will feel a cleft that is interscalene cleft and by the side you can feel the scalenus medius muscle. Uh, put your finger over the external pleomastoid. This is the external head, and inter is uh, this is the groove between the two head of the external pleomastoid. Then this is the external head of the external pleomastoid. Now you feel this, and now the tip of my finger is over the scalenus anticus muscle. Now I am palpating the groove here. And then the lateral side or the posterior side, it is the scalenus medius muscle. So, just above the external pleomas, just above the inferior valley of the omohyte, in the groove, I am inserting needle beta hilanani. Slowly inject the fluid and always aspirate before injection. Advance the syringe. Aspirate before injection. Now continuously I am aspirating, rotating the syringe in so many planes. Because this child is very cooperative. Again. Always aspirate before injection to avoid accidental intravascular injection. Put the finger on the proximal part and gently massage the area to promote the caudal spread of the solution in bracket vessel seat. Sometimes in brachial plexus block, the ulnar nerve usually spares. So, um, that's because of anatomical reason. So, you can supplement this block little bit. Uh, this will also enhance the duration by putting the syringe just below the clavicle in the direction of the interscalene cleft. This is painless here because this area also get anesthetized. Aspirate and then inject. See, just inject 2 3 ml of this. This is very dilute solution. This is 1 percent dilute in adrenaline here. So, I have given 2 ml of the injection here. This is the infraclavicular approach to supplement the brachial plexus that is supraclavicular approach to brachial plexus because, in some of the cases, Alnander that get spared because of the anatomical reason or because of the low volume injected in the brachial plexus. See, you can see this prominence veins because of the enhanced vascularity and he is unable to lift. What have you to Mari? Is it only Pagolo? Is it Pagolo? No, he is unable to lift the hand. The block is, is complete, it's perfect block. compartment block in this seven years old child and this the alex spine here and this is the lateral border of the symphysis pubis here lateral one third and the medial one third somewhere here take a point one centimeter below 
so this is the lateral one third this is the middle one third this is the middle one third so take a point one centimeter below so this is the lateral one third this is the middle one third this is the middle one third so here again check or another way just palpate the femoral artery this is the femoral artery and take a point in between these two points right so at the junction of lateral end middle one third and one centimeter down here just infiltrate this the skin insert the needle and then see this is the jumping on the fascia lata just carefully pierce the fascia lata yes first pop is there infiltrate little solution and then the fascia now again pierce yes and then stabilize the needle aspirate and then inject aspirate and then inject aspirate and then inject apply pressure distally and then inject the solution so this is the fascia ilaka compartment block i will inject 2 ml more regurgitation is there aspirate and then inject 3 ml more so i have given total total 8 ml of the solution in fascia ilaka compartment remove the needle press it distally and the massage the area the block is complete this will anesthetize the uh, the lateral motion now of thigh the femoral lung and most probably the obturator now also so this is the replacement of 3 in 1 block or the swas compartment block point same puncture point you can supplement the lcnt block so just casually the i lay crest inject here pierce the fascia inject here yes inject here this will supplement the lcnt block also uh now i have marked the flaps for the release of syndactyly between the fourth and uh, third finger here and on the dorsal aspect you can see i have marked a flap here this will form the web space here right and the design of the triangle is accordingly so that there should not be a uh, no raw area or minimal raw area suppose i have taken a long flap here and the this side i have taken a triangular flap so that these triangles are interwoven to minimize the the raw area and the remaining raw area i will put medium or thick split thickness skin trough which i am planning to take from the thigh in this child